tempted. Hocam neyi soracağınızı bir daha tekrar eder misiniz? Söyledim zaten. Elamelin yapısı, anlamayla ilerler. Kayıt cihazı zaten. Söyle. Hangi evre ne oluyor? Evet, belli embriyo soruyor. Hangisi, hangi yapıdan neler gelişiyor? Hangi evrede hangi yapılar gelişiyor? Kök gelişimiyle ilgili soru olabilir. Tabi biraz haftaya anlatacağım semento, periodontal ligament. Kulpa yapısı. Belli sorular veya bazı, bazı anomaliler mesela en amelde gördüğünüz anomali. Spindler, taftlar, o kadar. Lameller veya incremental çizgilerle ilgili bir şey sorabilirim. Peki bu anormali durumunu lab dersinde... Bu partaj <gülüyor> Laf dersindeki gibi fotoğraflı olarak mı soracaksınız yoksa? Yok. Sorarım mesela aşağıdaki atıyorum. Which of the underlying structures connected with the odontoblast mesela present in the enamel mesela. Daha var daha soracağım çok şey var daha gelmiyor. Siz öğrenin, siz dişin yapısını öğrenin, sonuç elinde sonunda öğrenmeniz gerekiyor değil mi? <gülüyor> Artık yani dişi öğrenin. Tamam neyse dedik yani diğer taraflar öğrenmeyin ama dişi öğrenmeniz lazım olmaz. Here you can see a section of tooth and be quiet. Be quiet. Here is very important, and please look at here very carefully. In this part we have the enamel, and this real structure is our cemento. In the inner side again here we have the cemento, and in the inner side we have dent. Look at this. Darker structure. This is our dentin. Here also is dentin, and this part is dentin again. This pink part, and also this white area. We have different types of dentins, depending on the location, and depending on the uh, area uh, far from the. In exterior part, here we have mantle dentin. The mantle dentin is our dentin which form in first time. First dentin which form. Under the enamel, this dentin have mantle dentin name. But in the root side, here and here, that mantle dentin name change it into the granular dentin. Okay? Granular dentin. Continue with mantle dentin and known as the granular dentin. In normal conditions, the mantle dentin and granular dentin don't have high amount of odontoblastic process, lacrum process. And also, these dentin don't have many channels or ducts. In the structure of dentin, we have ducts. And these ducts or channels or tubules fill with odontoblastic process. Think about me. I am an odontoblast, okay? Present in the pulpa, in the after side of pulpa. And I have process present in the dentin. This is my process. This is my odontoblastic process. This part is our part of cytoplasma present in the dentin. Dentin channels. Okay? Generally, these channels not extended into the mantle dentin. But sometimes and in some conditions you can see channels in this 
dengi. And also you can see these channels of process in some conditions entering to the enamel. What is that structure's name? Enamel spindles. Okay. Under the monthly dentin, we have primary dentin. Primary dentin is our dentin which form before birth. Primary dentin. Under the primary dentin, we have this pink area. Is our secondary dentin. Between the primary and secondary dentin, we have neonatal line. Remember the neonatal line of enam. Here again we have neonatal line. And this neonatal line indicates the area of the dentin which produced before and after the primary dentin present in the after surface produced before birth and secondary dentin produced after birth. Okay? Can you understand this part? And also, look at this white area here. This part is our predentin. What is the predentin? Not mineralized. Not mineralized dentin. Our dentin border started from predentin. Predentin include in our dentin structure. And in the inner side of predentin here, in this palm area, we have odontoblast cells. Okay? Can you understand different types of the dentin? I can hear. Could you repeat the odontoblastic process? Odontoblastic process. We will talk about it. Kök parçası da şuna bak. Evet. Evet, evet. Yeni oluşu için de hep böyle iç taraflar. Değil mi? Odon toplastları. Okey. Hocam bir şey daha soracağım. Bu kremonlar dediğimiz bu mantıklı dertin aşağısındaki kısmı. Evet, evet. Aynısı devam. Evet. Again, here you can see the monthly dentin, primary dentin, <coughs> secondary dentin, and what is this? Here we have tertiary dentin. Do you hear the? Be quiet. Konuşmak istiyorsanız dışarıda konuşun. Bu son uyarı. We have tertiary dentin. What is the tertiary dentin? Tertiary dentin form in the condition of uh, broken or uh, in the condition of the, uh, for example, degeneration occur in the structure of dentin. <coughs> Newly formed odontoblasts come here and form new dentin. This dentin known as the tertiary dentin or repairative dentin. The uh, area which can repair with the newly formed dentin. Here you can see. Okay? Tertiary dentin known as the repairative dentin. In the structure of dentin, here you can see we have Odontoblast uh, process which extends into the channels present in the structure of dentin and extend toward the uh, enamel or cement. And these channels have S shape in some structures. Here you can see. And because of this S shape, the length of the odontoplastic process larger than the length of the dentin. And because in, uh, of this high length, this process sometimes can enter into the enamel. In the outermost part, 
you can see low amount of these channels. This black area is our channels. And in the innermost side here, you can see high amount of channels. Okay? And in middle side, we have a middle amount of the uh, channels. Look at here. This structure is our odontoplastic process. In the stem part or near part, we have thicker odontoplastic process. And in middle part, we have a little thinner odontoplastic process. And in peripheral side, here you can see near to the dentino enamel junction, we have very, very thin odontoplastic process and low amount of odontoplastic process. Look at here. In this part, you can see key like structure of enamel. This is our dentino enamel junction, and here you can see the dentin uh, structure. This says is our odontoplast extend their process into this channel. Amenoplast is our main cells which indicate the stem cells present in the dental pulpa to start mitosis division and transform into the odontoplast. The stem cells present in the dental pulpa, dental papilla area, goes to mitotic division. One of them changes into the odontoplast and differentiate into the normal odontoplast. Here you can see. And the other one is not transformed and remains undifferentiated in the pulp uh, structure. These cells is our stem cells present in pulp and can replace with uh, old or damaged odontoplast. Odontoplast continue their life during the life of the teeth, not dead and not goes to mitotic division. But in some conditions, these cells can cause to apoptosis. And in this area, stem cells can transform into the new odontoplast and start to produce dentin. But this dentin is not a normal dentin. It's repetitive dentin and is our tertiary Okay, tertiary dentin produced with newly replaced stem cells. Okay, can you understand this part? Yes. Oh, thank you. <coughs> Here again, you can see the structures of uh, dentin. This part is mineralized dentin. Here you can see no predentin, sorry, and this part is mineralized. In this part. Again, you can see the predentin in this part, dentin in this part, odontoblast here, and stem cells of odontoblast in this part. Here is our pulp. Can you uh, show me the border between the pulp and dentin? Which area? This part. This is our border. Here is our dentin and predentin, and this part is our pulp. Okay? Again, you can see same thing. And now you can understand the structure of the odontoblast process. This is the odontoplastic process extended into the structure of predentin and dentin. These channels is our uh, dentin uh, tubules and you can see in some areas the process forms uh, some bridge with each other and 
make this structure. Here we can see calcified dentin and presenting in this part. Okay, this schema is very important. In our exam, I can ask about this schema. I can give you this picture and ask you about the different dentin. Here you can see our odontoplast extended into the dentin channels or tubules. And this is our odontoplastic process. And in the outer side, you can see the dentin. And also in the uppermost side, we have the dentin. This dentin present in the farthest part is our monthly dentin. First the form of dentin with low amount of channels and low amount of odontoplastic process. This part is our interglobular dentin. This interglobular dentin appears because of the low amount of mineralization. When in some areas we have lower mineralization than normal, you can see these spaces between the dentin structure, known as the interglobular dentin. In the long axis of odontoplastic process, we have two other types of dentin. The first type is the dentin which surround this channel. Imagine about my hand. My hand is of my process, my odontoblastic process. And my cloth is peritubular dentin, which encircled my process. This dentin is peritubular dentin. Between this peritubular dentin and my hand, we have a gap. Here you can see a gap. This gap, known as the pre-odontoplastic space. Pre-odontoplastic space. The pre-odontoplastic space is very important because in this space, we have a fluid. Fluid circle in this space. And this fluid have a role in conduction of pain sense. We will talk about this conduction in our next lecture, okay? Don't forget. We have peri-odontoblastic space. And in this space, we have a flow. Can you understand this part? Flow. And in the after side of the peritubular dentin, this dentin, we have these thick areas. These areas is our uh, intertubular dentin. Here you can see, intertubular dentin. In main part here, we have two types of the dentin. The first type is peritubular dentin. Here you can see, present only here, around the uh, odontoblastic process, and between the peritubular dentin, we have intertubular dentin, okay? The peritubular dentin and intertubular dentin, also known as the circumpulpar dentin, circumpulpar dentin, okay? İkisine birlikte circumpulpar dentin diyor. The Peritubular dentin plus intertubular dentin, both of them known as the circumpulpar dentin. And in primary and secondary dentin structure, we have both of these structures, or we have circumpulpar dentin. Okay? Can you understand this part? Can you understand? Yes. 
And here, in the beginning part, we have present. This slide is very important. I ask many questions about this slide from my uh, students in uh, my previous university. And uh, it's very important. <coughs> Here we have enamel. This part is dentino enamel junction. And this structure is the <coughs> dentin or Tom's granule layer or granule, granular dentin. Because, uh, depending on the location, if it's neighbor with enamel, this layer be quiet. Bugün çok konuşuyorsunuz. Depending on the location of dentin, we have the monthly and granular layer dentin or Tom's granular layer. If our dentin neighbor with enamel, this layer known as the monthly dentin. And if neighbor with cemento, known as the Tom's granular layer. This is our primary form dentin and generally known as the atubular dentin or dentin with low amount of tubular. Under this dentin we have primary dentin and secondary dentin. Between the primary and secondary dentin we have neonatal line. You know this neonatal line and now you know this primary dentin produced before the birth and secondary dentin produced after. In the primary and secondary dentin, we have circumpulpar dentin. What is the circumpulpar dentin? Remember this part, the peritubular dentin and intertubular. I don't write these things in my slides, but in our exam, I will ask about this dentin. You should know this dentin. Because I teach you this part. Here you can see the circumpulpar dentin present in the primary and secondary. After that, we have the predentin in this part and odontoblast here. Our dentin border start from this part, and you can see process of odontoblast in the structure of predentin between. Predentin and secondary dentin, or before birth between the predentin and primary dentin, we have metadentin. What is this thing? The meta very important. The metadentin is our dentin which newly start to mineralization not completely mineralization and not a predentin. Okay? Newly start to uh, mineralization. Don't forget. Bak bunu da söyledim. Yarın sınavda sorarsam hocam bu sınavda yoktu demeyiz. Bütün her şeyi yazdım. Ben metadentini sormayı severim. Arkadaşlar baktı metadentin and tomorrow, you can't say this, you don't talk about the metadentin, and you don't write the metadentin in your spell. You can't say this, thing. because I like to ask metadentin. Parante değil. Bunu bu şeye söyleyeyim. Belki Okay. After predentin, we enter into the part. In the inner side of the part, in the peripheral side of part, we have a special area known as odontogenic area. Odontogenic area related with part, not dentin. Odontogenic area. In the odontogenic area, in 
outermost layer we have odontoplast and in the innermost layer of odontogenic area we have the stem cells here you can see these stem cells have a special name the special name of these stem cells is whole cells whole cells whole cells present in the odontogenic layer of pulp and the stem cells of odontoplast or precursors of odontoplast okay between the odontoblast and whole cells, we have a gap. This gap known as the cell free zone. Between the odontoblast and whole layer, we have a gap. This gap known as the cell free zone. In this cell free zone, we don't have individual cells. In this zone, we have only the blood vessels, nerve fibers and yes blood vessels and nerve fibers also around the blood vessel uh, in uh, around the blood vessels we have a little connective tissue okay and generally free of the special cells related with pump okay known as a cell free zone the other name of this whole cells layer is our cell rich zone Cell rich zone. Cell free zone present between the odontoplasts and whole cells. And the other name of the areas of whole cells known as cell rich zone. Cell rich zone. Okay? This is related with pulp. We will talk about pulp. Can you understand this one? It's very important. In our exam, Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I can give you this picture and cover these structures and then put, for example, some numbers in this part, this part, and this part, and ask you about the name of these structures in different parts. Okay? What was the name? Self-free zone, name is self-free zone. Is there cells on the self-free zone? No. We have cells, but not special cells related with pulp or odontoplast. We have cells related with blood vessels, endothelial cells, Schwann cells around the nerve fibers, and that's all. Pulp da bulunuyor. Şu odontoplastla whole sucralerinin arasında bulunuyor. Şurada. Pulp anlatacağım, merak etmeyin. Burayı tekrar anlatacağım. Tamam mı? Şimdi şey soracağım. Dediğim gibi mesela burayı sorarsanız, whole cells, pulp, burayı sorarsanız, burayı nasıl? Etraftaki yapıların adını kesinlikle oradaki mesela. İstersen oranın da adını yazayım, bir net yaparsın sen. Hocam görmek görmesi çok da oluyor. Yok, büyük, eğer sorarsan... Büyük, büyük sormaların işte. Zaten burada bir şey görmene gerek yok, bellidir. Bir taraftan sayarsın gidersin, ne olur mesela? Parktan saymaya başla, sırasıyla git, kaçıncı olduğu belli. Değil mi? Biraz çalışırsın, bence biraz daha çalışsın. Ha gayret, yaparsın. Tamam mı? Hocam bir şey soracağım. Primer ile sekonderin arasında da metadentin var mı? Olabilir mi sence? Öyle bir şey söyleyebilir miyim? Öyle bir şey söylemedim. Ben dedim ki metadentin doğumdan sonra sekonderi dentine komşudur. Doğumdan önce primary dentine komşudur. Tamam. Ya önce burası metadentin. Tamam. Biraz önce burasıydı. Metadentin şu buradan tamam. başlamış böyle buraya kadar yapıyor. Tamam. Do you have questions? Hocam şu o çocuk araya burada faiz hücrelerinin öyle sıradası bir yer mi yoksa altın dağıtısı da burada gördüm. Ne? Anlamadım. Şey, Parpın içinde de görüyorsun. Şöyle şu anı. Ha burası da tamam. O zaman önce de görüyorsun. Parkta da anlatacağım diye. This part, look at here, is our interglobular dentin. And as you can see, we have 
structure of like gaps in this part because of the low amount of mineralization. Again, here you can see this integral of log dente. And what is this structure? <coughs> Very good, very good, <laughs> very good. <coughs> and you can see Tom's granular layer beneath to the cement of here you can see our Tom's granular layer and not to the in this. This slide is very important. We talked about this, this uh, slide, about the uh, peripheral dentin. What is the peripheral dentin? Peripheral dentin is our mantle and Tom's granular dentin. Present in the peripheral part. And we have circumfulpar dentin, primary and secondary dentin. And again in peripheral dentin, we, the other name of peripheral dentin is atubular dentin. And the other name of circumfulpar dentin is tubular dentin. Here you can see amount of uh, mineral and organic structures present in the dentin. Mineral contents is about 15% of the whole structure of dentin. And we have 20% of what? Again, you can see the organic structure of dentin. And as you can see here, 90% of the organic structure composed of collagen fibers, generally type 1 and type 3. I can ask about the type of collagen fibers again. Here you can see the primary dentin, secondary dentin. Look at here, you can see a little tone different in between here and here. This part is our known as line. And here is our hub. What is this layer? This layer is our odontoblastic cell layer. And here you can see the tertiary dentin. Tertiary dentin in different conditions can be seen in different shapes. Sometimes, and this is our uh, normal shape. Here you can see it. Normal shape, repetitive normal shape. In B part, you can see tertiary dentin with low amount of odontoplast, but this odontoplast have own process in normal way. But sometimes this odontoplast form dentin like this and not continue with the secondary dentin. Sometimes this odontoplast form irregularly arranged columns. And in some areas, tertiary dentin <coughs> odontoplastic process can reach into the secondary dentin, and you can see combination form between the, for example, uh, osteodentin or pre-tubular dentin and irregularly arranged dentin in same structure. Here you can see. This is related with different parts of the tertiary dentin. Okay, here you can see our normal dentin, and in this part we have the repetitive or tertiary dentin, and you can see the differences between the dentin and tertiary dentin. Under the X-ray, you can see low uh, electrolucent area in the tertiary dentin than normal dentin, and you can understand this part or repair the part under the X-ray. What is this layer here? Odontoblastic cell. What is this? Predentin. Okay, again you can see that so this is our tertiary dentin structure. And again, you can see so, uh, Look at here. Now you can understand the structures of odontoplastic process present between the dentin. This dentin is our peritubular dentin, and this dentin present between them is our intertubular dentin. 
What is the name of this area? Space. Space. Peri tubular space. Okay. Peri odontoplastic space. Sir. Peri odontoplastic space. And you can see these channels. And this channel is very important to pain transduction. We will talk about that. But again, you can see this channel. Here again, uh, you can see the enamel spindles in the enamel part. And here you can see the odontoblastic process. Again, you can see same structures, the dots. This part is our peritubular dentate, and this part is our intertubular dentate. Here you can see granular layers of tones under the cemento. And in the surface of denting, we can see again <coughs> lines like this. These lines known as the oval lines. Oval lines. And again, these lines form because of the different amount of mineralization in the in the duration of a day, okay? And these black areas is the areas of low amount of mineralization. This line is known as the oval lines. Here you can see it. Oval lines can be seen in this part. What is the name of this structure? Lamellas. Start from outer side and come here. Spindles continue with the dentin outside. This structure is tuft. The remains is tuft, and we don't have other uh, option. In our exam, again, I can ask about this structure. For example, give you this picture and ask about this part. Okay? You should know this is a tough. Can you understand this part? Burayı anlayabilir misin sınavda bunu versen? Ne yapar? Artık bunu yap. Ama sen telefonunda bir başını kaldırmıyorsun ki. Not alırsa zaten ses kaydı var. Not almana gerek yok. Bak buraya. Ben böyle yüzde on yüzde zaman anlıyorum. Sizin sesinizi zaman Okay. So. Ne? Ne? Increment. Evet. Evet. Incremental lines is the general names of the lines present in the dentin and enamel. Be quiet. Look at here. In this part, you can see the deep area of dentin. And here again, you can see that. Dead area. Again, you can see dead track of dentin. You can't do anything for uh, this condition, and uh, this part is dead and not repaired with tertiary dent. Again, you can see the dead part of dentin here. What is this? This picture related with infected dentin. And in this part, you can see bacteria present in the tools of dentin. Again, you can see the incremental lines in the dentin. Here you can see the incremental line, and here the oval lines. So you have questions? Çok sıkıldıysanız çıkabilirsiniz. Zorla tutmuyorum burada. Yani suç bende değil. Benim derslerin hep böyle son saate koyuyorlar. Ben de kızıyorum ama yapacak bir şey yok.